What's going on world, it's your boy Alex Miner. And today we're gonna to be talking about the Bowling P1 Vlogger Lite, comparing it to the Aperture MX and the F7 and telling you why I think it's way better than both of those lights and why I can't really recommend that you buy it right now. Let's get into it. I'm sorry, this video is gonna be a little bit different than most of my reviews. Usually I script these, but I'm kind of freestyling this one today. I just didn't have the patience. I've been off YouTube too long and I just wanna get a video out. I've had this light for months now. I'm probably one of the first people on YouTube to have this light. I bought it with my own money, so this isn't sponsored. But why haven't I reviewed it before now? We'll answer that question later, but to sum it up, it's because I've been pouting and a whiny little so let's dive right in and explain the key differences between this light and this light, not even getting into power, just getting into features. So this light is $159. This light retails for $150. They're both made out of metal, built like tanks. I have no compunction about throwing either one of these in a bag and just going. They're gonna last a long time. They, they can take a beating. They have taken a beating and they're still here. They both got built-in batteries. This one definitely lasts longer than this one. I think at full power, I can get this one to last over two hours, maybe like two and a half hours. Um, they're both by color, but this has a bigger range on the Kelvin scale than this one does. Um, I think this one goes from 3,000 to 6,500, something like that. This one goes from 2,500 to 8,500. Pretty insane, and I really appreciate that when I'm trying to get different looks. Uh, also, this only has five selectable brightness options and then like a little extra power boost. This is dimmable in increments of 1% from 100 down to 1%. Very rare to find. Also, this is not only a bicolor light, it's a full-blown RGB panel. Basically, if you're a fan of the Luxly series of lights, you'll love this light and it's way less money. There is no Bluetooth control of this light. If there was, it'd be more expensive. Also, similar to the Luxly lights, this has a suite of built-in effects, sort of like a combination of the Luxly effects and the effects that you see in the Aperture 120D. It has a lightning effect, it's got a candle flickering effect, it's got a police effect, it's got an RGB cycle party type of effect, and it, they're really good. Power comparison. Well, let me not talk about it, let me just show you. I take these on the road with me all the time now, but this has become really my main light when I'm traveling. It's just so quick to pull out and just so versatile. I, I absolutely love it. So why is it that I say I can't really recommend that you buy it right now? A few months ago, we had NAB. Right when I was about to try to make a big splash and get all the views and do all the things, Aperture just pisses all over my parade and announces that they're going to put out a light that does everything that this light does and more, and it's going to be about half the price. And it should be coming out in the next month or two. I love this light. I think it's amazing. It's the best one that's available right now. So if you need a light right now, go ahead and buy it. But if you can wait a month or two, wait for Aperture to put out their light. I'd be lying to you if I told you that you should go out and buy one of these right now. I'm not going to buy another one of these right now, and this is my favorite light that I have. And I want another one, but I'm not going to buy one. Damn you, Anyway, that's all I got for you today.